This is a tutorial of how to use HR for multivariate experiment when you are studying differential expression in RNA-seq data and you have a little bit more complicated experimental setup. So if you click at the tool and click the parameters, you can see that you can set up to three main effects for your data. So if you check out the example, I have filled in here the Pheno data file. You can see that there are indeed three effects. So there's treatment, we have controls, and then we have patients that are treated with a certain drug. We have also measured the blood pressure of each, each patient, and as you can see it's varying somewhere between 120 and 160. The patients are also either female or male, so we have the gender as one factor there. Now if we go to the tool, we choose the count file, so here we have the read counts. Then we go to the tool, so we choose NGS, RNA-seq, and here HR for multivariate experiments. We go to the parameters, and you can see the effects here, and you can choose them here. So in our case there would be treatment, gender, and blood pressure. Then there's a question about how to treat the main effects. Should they be treated as factors or as continuous variables? The default is yes, so it means that by default the effects are treated as factors. So in our case, the first effect is the treatment. And that's a factor, because the patients are either controls or then they are treated with the drug. So that, that's a yes. Same goes with the gender, so the main effect 2. That's also a factor, because the patients are either female or male. But the third effect is a bit different, since it's the blood pressure, and you remember that it was varying between 120 and 160. So that is actually not a factor, but a continuous variable. So there we would choose no. Then there's a question about including interactions to your model. The default is no. If you click to the parameter, you can see the explanations here. So no means that you include only the main effects to your model. That means that we would be only including these main effect terms and there would be no interactions between the terms. If you choose yes, it means that you're including all the interaction terms to your model. To explain that, let's make the situation a bit more simple. So let's forget now the blood pressure and assume that we only have treatment and gender as effects. And they both have an effect on our expression values. But let's assume that we're also suspecting that the treatment has a stronger effect on females than male. So then there would be actually an interaction term between the two main effects. And then choosing here yes means that we're including all those three terms to our model. There's also a third option which is called nested. It's a bit more complicated situation and we have a different tutorial for that one. You can also click the more help button to go to the manual page and there's also a detailed example about, it, about the situation where you could use this option. So, if you now run the tool with these parameters, as a result you will get a PDF file showing the dispersion plot and a TSV file, which you can open as a spreadsheet or you can export it to your own computer and view it on Excel. Let's now open it here. It might look a bit complicated when you look at it for the first time, but as usual, the rows correspond to genes and then there are these five columns repeated for the different comparisons. So the most important and interesting ones are probably the logarithmic fold chains, the p-value and the FDR corrected or adjusted p-value. Now if we want to see whether the treatment has an effect on the expression values and how many differentially expressed genes you got in that comparison, we need to scroll a bit to the right and now we are looking at the five columns for the treatment comparison. You can sort these columns if you just click at the header, like this. For example, if you click at the FDR column, like this, you can see that there are several genes which have a really low adjusted p-value, and those would be your differentially expressed genes in this comparison. If you go further still, the next comparison is between the genders, and same columns are still repeated. 
Now to make the table more viewable you can do some filtering for it. So if you just choose the file and then go to the NGS utilities and fill the table by column value and go to the parameters you can choose to filter according to the column you want. So in our case that would be now the FDR corrected p-value and the first column did not have a title. The cutoff could be 0 0.05 and the p-value needs to be smaller than that for the genes to be differentially expressed. Then we could just run the tool. As a result we get a similar table but now you can see that there are far less rows in this sheet because we only have the differentially expressed genes in the comparison between the controls and the treated patients. Again we can filter this table that we just generated according to the log fault changes. So if, if we go again here, utilities, fill the table by column value and go to parameters. Now we would like to filter it according to the log fault change in the treatment comparison. Again, there was no title. The cutoff could be maybe one, and we want to choose outside because we want both up and down regulated genes. Again, if we run the tool, we will get this kind of file, and again, there will be a bit less rows. And now these might be the genes that you want to continue your analysis with.